Hey, I'm Drew and I'm back. And we have came down to a place in Bowling Spring Lakes, which is where I live. We're not too far from my house, actually. Not too far from the lake, but check this out. I want everybody to see this. <coughs> when you're, if you're a roofer and you're nailing your shingles, generally you want to pop a line somewhere. Um, and if you're on a double wide and you put ridge vent on it, it's probably not a good idea. If it didn't come with ridge vent, it probably doesn't need it. And this one here, I'm sure, had a piece of metal that ran all the way down the middle of this ridge vent before they put it on. So when they did the roof, look how crooked that is. Is that, is that ugly? Look how crooked that is. Somebody just doesn't care. People don't care. Okay. So anyway, there was a piece of metal that runs down this ridge and closes in the hole when they put a double wide together. In this situation, apparently they decided to remove that metal, put ridge vent. Don't ask me why, but it didn't come with it. And the man says, ever since the ridge vent's been put on there, every time it storms, water comes in. So I'll probably, let me show you why. Ridge vent from here to here is about 12 inches wide, which is the same thing as what your shingle is. But up underneath there, there's a good size hole, which we're getting ready to show you. Of course, they've been leaking and he thought it was the shingles and they've been caulking these lines, um, but it's, n it's, not the, it's not the shingles, people. Look at this, I mean, <laughs> look, look at that. Now tell me, if you have ridge bent down like this, what good is that gonna do, caulking that? Thinking that's gonna take care of the leak. This, look at this, people. This goes on here like this. This is a cap on a piece of plastic. If your roof is leaking near the ridge, it's not going to be because of the caps. It's not going to be because of your ridge vent. It's probably going to be because of the way it's installed. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, water just blows up under there and right into the house. Yeah. So uh, generally, if you have a roof leak in the peak, you can tell that this was never done properly. Anyway, that should actually be down, touching the, the roof, and it's not. So we're gonna remove this. We're gonna put the metal, we're gonna put a piece of metal down that thing all the way down, and then we're gonna recap it. Best we can, look how crooked that is. So what do you guys think about that? Has anybody had problems with their roof leaking at the peak? with ridge vent on it, on a low pitch roof like this. This is a double wide. They don't normally come with ridge vent on them. So if they don't come with it, it's probably not a good idea to put it, especially because like I said, there's a piece of metal that runs down through here to cover that hole where the double wide goes together. If they take it off, then you got a hole and water's, water can easily blow up underneath that right there. I mean, it's not even touching the roof. So it wasn't installed properly. Anyways, so that's basically what I'm getting at. This is not put on right. Let's get down here and see where Billy's at. He's getting this first piece off. <laughs> what are we finding out underneath there, Bill? Big hole? Oh my yeah. God, yes. Look at the size of that hole. Oh, oh yeah. And the metal's gone. Whew. So water is literally pouring. Pour. Look, look, so a hard, heavy wind. This is open, so you literally have from here to here, and water's in your house, and you can see this beam has been wet. Beam's been wet, and if you go inside, the if you go inside of this place, the sheetrock is soaking wet and falling down. I think we know why. Yeah, I think we know why now. So that's the problem you can run into with ridge vent on a double wide. Like I said, Thanks for watching guys just another one of the messy jobs that we're coming behind trying to fix just trying to fix it there's no way that water is not going to blow up underneath that thing in the storm and that's exactly what we had we had a storm with 70 mile an hour winds and it just soaked the inside of his house from the center so he was like i got a brand new roof why am i leaking
told him that's probably why. Well, we're gonna there it goes. If you look, it didn't actually vent anything because that's solid down there. That's not a hole into the attic. That's solid. So there's a space, inch and a quarter wide, eight inches deep, and that's all there is. So why would you want to vent that? You're not venting the attic. If you want to vent, install a solar fan in this thing somewhere, that will vent you. This is not going to vent anything. Waste of money, waste of time. All right, so we have the ridge vent off on this double wide. <coughs> We're going to go ahead and take these caps off at the end. Just so, well, didn't even really need to. But we, we're gonna go ahead and put a piece of metal down here on this bottom, this end all the way out. We're just gonna metal it all the way out. Um, anyway, you can see what we had. And if you notice, this is a double wide. And when they put them together, generally it's just a big beam here and a beam here, and there's no ventilation in these things. This particular one has ventilation on the total here which vents both sides and then it's closed off all the way down through here so there's not much sense in putting ridge vent on it and then it opens up again let's see where it opens right see there's only like three places but the reason for it is for it to vent cross cross back and forth it's open here too it's open right here see so here it's open for both sides so the air can get in between this is all cathedral inside there's not a lot of space in there but as you can see drip edge or ridge vent on this thing from here to here the water's just pouring in this thing when this was built it had a piece of metal which we're getting ready to run back on here as soon as we blow this thing thing off and then we'll show you what the metal is supposed to be like and then we're going to cap it and that's what you should have on a double lot not that all right so what we did we took the caps off, took the ridge vent on. We installed metal all the way down and then we're gonna cap it. That'll make this thing sealed again. And then we're gonna install for ventilation, a solar fan right where them shingles are. That's where the man wants it, right there. And that'll draw the heat out of this attic area from the porch and the house. Ventilation is key.